Hey there! Today we're going to learn more about how to tell and write time. First, let's review how to tell time. To use a digital clock, we simply read through the numbers. Remember we have to read two numbers separated by a colon, those two little dots. So this clock says 830. Also, if a digital clock shows this, we read it as 8 o'clock, not 800. Let's practice by matching the digital clock to the time. Clock A is read as 3.05. Clock B is read as 11.45. Clock C is read as 5.45. Clock D is read as 9.15. Good job! Now let's look at telling time using analog clocks. Analog clocks have two hands. The hour hand is the short one and the minute hand is the long one. A few things to remember. If the minute hand is pointed at 12, it means zero minutes or o'clock. After that, each little line represents one minute. The numbers that represent hours are spaced every five minutes. So if the minute hand is pointing at the four, it is the same as five minutes four times, or 20 minutes. Sometimes the hour hand will not point exactly at a number. In this case, use the number that the hour hand has just passed. Let's test our clock telling skills by choosing the correct time that the analog clock tells. The hour hand is pointed between 6 and 7, which means it just passed the 6, while the minute hand is pointed at the 2. Remember with the minute hand, each hour number re represents five minutes. So if it's pointing at the two, that means it's 10 minutes. So the clock says that it is 6, 10. On this one, the hour hand is pointed between one and two, meaning it has just passed one. The minute hand is pointed at the five, which means 25 minutes. So the time is 125. On this clock, both the hour and the minute hands are pointed at 12. That one's easy. The time is 12 o'clock. On this last one, the hour hand is pointed between the four and the five, meaning it is just past four, while the minute hand is pointed exactly at the six, which represents 30 minutes. So the time is 4.30. Great job reading those clocks. So let's talk about whether it's AM or PM. Remember, a whole day is 24 hours. But did you notice that our time only reaches 12 o'clock?
after 12, it goes back to one. It means that a whole day does two rotations on our clock. So if we say eight o'clock, it could be in the morning or in the evening. So how do we know which it is? This is where AM and PM help us out. AM is used for any time after midnight, but before noon. Well, PM is used for any time after noon, but before midnight. Let's look at some examples just to make sure we understand. Tina wakes up in the morning and sees her clock. What time is it now? Well, her clock says 7.30, and since it's morning, the time would be 7.30 a.m. Daryl finishes school in the afternoon. He checks the time to see if he can still watch his favorite show. What time is it? The clock says 3.50. And since it's in the afternoon, the time is 3.50 p.m. Great job working on telling and writing time. See you again soon. Are you looking for more fun ways to learn math? Check out Bottle Learning and access thousands of math skills all through a fun 3D game. Just visit BottleLearning.com and sign up today.